Oh my god, I washed my hair yesterday, right? My cat's on it, so you might hear a look on my face. I literally couldn't wait. I've got my sander. Started doing it, and I didn't really think. I thought, it's going on my legs a little bit, and my arms, but yeah, it's on my hair as well. I'm gonna listen to a podcast now. I was starting it, and I was thinking, oh, I don't know if I'll finish it tonight. I'm on a roll now. My baby's in bed. Super mum, and I'm straight away doing this. I'm just gonna give myself this half of the ball, but I'm gonna do it properly and listen to a podcast. And then I'll do the next wall, maybe the next day, and so on. I just can't believe the way I look. So now I've got a, um, this, but I've got a meeting tomorrow morning, so I like, got my hair actually like all grey. At least I know what I look like if I had grey hair now. The hustle of being a mum, doing everything on your own. That's what I have to do. I've been doing it the cheap way and just putting water on the wall and using a scraper. Like, I've only got two walls that have wallpaper in this whole house, so I just thought there's no point in um, investing in a sander. Another day, another day of sanding. <laughs> so today I've got all of this covered. Um, I mean, all in this, the only thing in this room now is literally bags um, of like organized mess, organized clothes basically. And obviously my bed, I probably should put a cover across my whole bed because this dust gets everywhere. Like in the other room, there's so much dust. Um, let me put the light on actually. But I plan, my daughter's out today, so I rarely get to do the main bedroom. So, she, she sleeps with me. So I'm thinking if I do this today, at least one wall, because the radiator there is gonna get moved. I'm not gonna have this radiator anymore. I'm gonna have like a vertical radiator here. So I want this all to be sanded and prepped before the radiator comes, if you get what I mean. I don't wanna be painting round the radiator. So I thought if I do this now, like this is quite urgent and then her bedroom I can literally do in the evenings oh this red I just hate it <laughs> why who would ever have like a red wall like who but anyway so yeah today I'm doing that I really want to paint it today but I just you know I just don't feel like I'm in the mood to paint I just feel like I'm in the mood to sand so if I do get carried away and I do it quite quickly, I might do this wall, so at least two walls in this room are done. And then literally it's just that wall and that wall. And I don't feel like that's like too much of a big space. So let's see how we get on. <laughs> I still need to paint this ceiling though. Oh my God. I'm dreading the day I have to paint the ceilings, honestly. But yeah, let's go. spent the last two hours trying to sand these wolves and then I realized why are they not sanding it's because they had wallpaper on them and I believe they had the ad ad adhesive oh, no. still there so I just started sanding this wall over there and it sounded really easy in a couple of minutes and this wall, these walls would have been done by now a long long time ago if I sort of realized straight away they still feel a bit sticky though, so I don't know. It's really annoying. I wish I knew that yesterday, and I could have just cleaned them yesterday. 
I just went, oh, I could have, yeah, I could have cleaned them all yesterday. They'd be dry today and I could just have sand them already. They'd be soft as a baby's bum by now. Instead, they're sticky. So slimy. It's no wonder they're not sticky. Yeah, it's no wonder. Because literally, <laughs> this is what it looked like. Like this. And I was like, why does it, why does it not look like it's been used? It's because it's literally not sticking. So, I just thought if you're sanding it, all the dirt's going to come off anyway. So there's no point washing it. But obviously, he should do that. <laughs> oh, that'll teach me for being lazy. So I'm back in this room again. Um, I've just used some filler to fill in all the walls because like, it's dry now. Um, I want all the walls to be like completely like, obviously flat because <laughs> I've sanded them all so Obviously now I just want them to be all completely smooth. I'm gonna start off with the ceiling. I'm gonna paint with paint and water to start and then go over it again. And then I'm gonna paint the rest of this room. I'm really looking forward to painting. I've spent so much time sanding, so painting is gonna be like exciting. I've got my baby monitor. So as soon as she goes to bed, this is what I'm doing. I'm hustling. This year, no breaks. <laughs> So this is what I'm doing. I'm using, oh God. <laughs> so much stuff, I'm using this. To um, basically just take all the dust away. And then when I paint, it'll just be easier and no dust. So I bought this for the paint and I mean, it, I've just got some tips on what to buy. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that to open the paint. I've got my extension thing, which is a roller. This room is an absolute tip. <laughs> I really need to like move things out of the way. Um, so yeah, and I'm gonna put one of these, one of these on there um, and do half water, half paint. This is the paint I'm using. It's mum approved. <laughs> Apparently I got an expensive-ish one. It's called Velspa Premium Ceilings and Walls and it's scrubbable. So if you're a mum and your baby may do something, this apparently it's good. It's like 42 pounds though. It is a matte color. You know me, I love a bit of white. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is too watery, but let's see how this goes on. It's gonna go everywhere. Am I doing it right? Jesus Christ. It's all over my camera. I discovered I put way too much water in there, so I had to add a bit more, but I'm actually quite impressed with how I'm coming along so far. I've, learned, I've discovered as well that I need to literally just keep rolling and rolling and rolling until there's no paint left because I don't want there to be any like marks. I can already see one, it's annoying me. I'll have to sand that. Um, but you know like when you, there's a bit too much paint on one end and then it just ends up making a little like sticky out bit. <laughs> I'm so tired, my baby's just woken up as well. I just hope she don't wake up again in the next hour so I can have a bath at least before 
cradling her in bed because I don't want to get paint on her. <laughs> I bet you I've got, I haven't got any paint on my hair yet, but it's only a matter of time. <laughs> but yeah, today's aim, I think, is just to paint the ceiling. I'm not gonna be doing the walls. I'm gonna do the walls tomorrow and doing one wall at a time and I'll film it. So yeah, I'm gonna revise how to paint again tonight. So I'm prepared tomorrow. I feel like I just started this because I just felt like I need to do something because my baby went to bed early today but um yeah <laughs> this is my next few hours I'm back here again in the room. It's all white now, um, but actually I changed my mind on the paint. So I bought some Lick paint, which is far better than the paint I've been using, the best for paint. Um, just a bit of advice there. Building all the holes with Polycell. So this is the pink, you can't really see it, but hopefully on the walls it will be more pink. It's the lightest pink I could find. I just didn't want it to be too overpowering, um, but yeah. I'm like out of breath because I've just been sanding the wall again. I'm gonna do all the edging all around and yeah, get paint in. My daughter went to bed super early today, which is really good as I've got the carpet fitter coming next week and the door fitter. So ideally I'd want the whole room painted by then. I have the radiator man coming tomorrow. He's gonna fit in new radiators. Look at the place. <laughs> These are the radiators, they weighed a ton honestly they left them in the road for me to get luckily this man lifesaver picked him up for me and carried him into my home otherwise i don't know what i would have actually done i had to pay 70 pounds for my next delivery for my doors because i just thought i can't have this curbside drop off ever again it was just so stressful my baby was like mommy trying to help me um never again so yeah i'm listening to a podcast now and yeah, I'm going to do all the edging. I'm going to do this wall first, I think. It's the biggest one. So I feel like I've accomplished a lot. Ugh. Let's see how it goes. This is the colour. I think it looks really cute. Let's see how it goes on. Three walls done in a few hours. The rest I need to get done. So guys, it's the day my floor is going to get put down. I literally need to get rid of all this crap. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put it. Literally, there's bags of clothes everywhere. So I ended up using two lick paints on each room. Obviously now this other one might be wasted. <laughs> but yeah, this is white O2 in the main bedroom. And in Thalia's room, in this room, it's pink O1. So I wanted it to be the lightest pink. I don't know if it is, but that they have. But I think it's a really nice pink. Again, the gold, and then the gold, and then the radiators. I need to get rid of these blinds. Um, and I did want to paint up here, but oh I've just got to try and be careful and not get any paint on yeah, the carpet. Because I don't think I have time. So, this is the room before I carpet it. 
Um, Fanny's bedroom. I can't wait to get some lighting in here and everything. I feel like Bally, I feel like Brittany's mourning her old room. <laughs> Look at her, bless her. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry, this room's not gonna be yours anymore. Oh, I feel so awful for her. <laughs> But I'm actually so proud of myself. I've got nice new radiators, new switches, painted everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm really like happy. There's gonna be brand new doors, beautiful doors, new handles. And I've ordered some more stuff for Ikea that's gonna go in this area here. And it's all gonna be along this wall, so it's not gonna take up much space. Yeah, it's gonna be great for little Thalia. She's gonna love it state of this side of the home at the moment um the carpet is here <laughs> guys how am i gonna get it up these stairs <laughs> or how is the guy actually gonna get it up these stairs the underlay is here got another underlay there Daddy. <laughs> oh my god oh my god this is actually mad so the carpet man's come, he's like, I can't get this up the stairs. <laughs> I, I don't blame him, he actually can't get it up the stairs. Um, so he has to come back and we're going to have to cut it in half because I don't know why they've done it like that. I'm going to have to cut this in half in the garden and then bring it upstairs somehow. <laughs> God. And he says he's going to fit me in next week. I just feel stressed now. I planned on like, putting everything in Fally's room, I planned on the doors. Nightmare. Uh, I hear order. <laughs> and then start. Oh, okay, guys, so this is on the back of her door. So she has her coats there. I didn't want to like get anything drilled in. This is for my chest of drawers so I can organize all my stuff. These are some cushions. I've got three of them for Fally's room. They were three pounds each, which I think are pretty good. And they are inside, but I could just cut it off and just use it as a cushion. Do you like this, baby? Me! Yeah, she's got Play-Doh on her leg. <laughs> um, I also got some frames. I got, I didn't know how many to get, but I got different sizes. And I also got like, how many did I get? done some like motivational um like i've made some motivational quotes so i'm gonna put them inside these so that's gonna be cute uh what else do i get yeah sure cushion baby i've got this for Valia. so when i give her a bath she can wash her face or whatever i've got one for me as well you guys didn't know i had my doors done right but look at the rim i got it all painted i paid someone to paint it but look this was meant to be realigned and he put my old wood there. That looks, but as you can see, that looks terrible. Look, it's not even like sanded down. He's even put the old, didn't even take that off. Like, so I asked him, this was a month ago he fitted this in. I said, can you please come back and sort this out? So he's coming back today. If this guy tries to charge me more, I'll be so livid. And another thing he did, I'll show you. He cut, I don't know why, he made a hole here. Like, why? Why would you make a hole here? Like, leave it. Why would you do that? It makes zero sense whatsoever. And he cut underneath, underneath there. So I had to get the carpet done and there. Like, what I wanted him to do was cut there. Like, just go zoom, zoom. Oh, honestly, it's so annoying. All the old pain everything like why would you just do it like that who would want that on these nice new doors 